Fikade recently put a 2 at the end, and now everything has changed. Their UI and website now look like this, which is way different from the previous video. The devs at Fikade are going to shut down the original Fikade server, so it is about time that we move on. If you're new to Fikade, you'll need to register a new account with a username, password, and email. After that, install Fikade 2. Sometimes, you may be directed to a page that does not work and Fikade 2 will not install. This is because of your antivirus blocking it, thinking it is a virus of some sort. Depending on your antivirus, you'll need to whitelist Fikade 2 in order to download it. After downloading Fikade, Open the file and it will open an installation setup. When it asks to install Fikade, click yes and then you can select which folder you want it to install Fikade. A folder will automatically be made in your documents, but you can choose to make a new folder and install Fikade in there. After you select a folder location, Fikade will install and then you will be directed to a Microsoft DirectX installation. Go through the installation setup and then install DirectX. After you install Microsoft DirectX, open up Fikade 2. Log in with your username and password and you'll be at their home page. If you're new to emulation, be sure to have either 7-zip or WinRAR in order to extract files. Links to download them will be in the description of the video. To download the ROMs for Heritage for the Future on Fight K2, download fc2jsons.zip in Bivu's website, bivu.xyz. After they downloaded, right-click and then extract files. Inside the JSON folder, select all of the files and then cut and paste those JSON files into the emulator folder of FightK2. After you place those files, load up FightK2, click on the plus icon on the left side and search JoJoBan R1. Click on the join button and the JSON files will automatically install JoJoBan R1 and JoJoBA, both which are necessary to run Heritage for the Future properly. The neat part about this is that this method to install ROMs for Fight K2 works for all of their games except for SNES games. After the two JoJo ROMs are installed, click on the Heritage for the Future lobby and then click on Test Game on the top right side or you can type slash test to see if the game works. If you want to know where you can find the ROM files, they are in FB Neo ROMs folder. You can also download the non-BGM ROMs, which are the same ROMs without background music. To download that, click on nobgmfc2.zip in Bivu's website, which will download the two JoJo ROMs. After they downloaded, right-click and extract here. Delete the previous two JoJo ROMs that were in the FB Neo ROMs folder and move in the non-BGM ROMs. When loading up the game, you will always have this error message, which is normal. Just click OK and the game will be musicless. Before you challenge anyone, you're going to have to set your controls. 
press F5 in game or click on input and then map game inputs to set your controls. Double click on each input and set them to your liking. 5K2 map game inputs has made it easier to identify which inputs are what. There is the coin button which emulates putting in a coin for credits to start the game. The start button which starts the game when there are credits. Your movement inputs up, down, left, right. There are your attack inputs, weak, medium, and strong attack. There is the stand input, which used to be called weak kick back in the fight kid 1 days. For those that are not in use, double click on them, and then click clear input and check clear lock. Scrolling all the way down is the times 3 attack macro input, which now works with a simple double click, unlike in fight kid 1. The reset button resets the game, and it is exclusive to player 1. There is also video settings to which you can edit how the game displays. 5K2 does a pretty good job making the game look nice, yet you can disable the scan lines from the blitter options. For the secret character unlock, watch this video. It may look different in 5K2, but the same steps still apply. Now that our game is looking and feeling fine, we are now ready to play against other people. To challenge against other people, right click on their name and click challenge. There will be a little window that opens FT2, FT3, FT5, FT10, FT20, and unranked. FT means first two, meaning the first person to win a certain amount of games wins the set. For example, FT3 means whoever wins three games first wins the set, and then the game will close automatically. Fight Kid will automatically record the set count on an overlay up top. These FT games are part of a ranked system. If you want to avoid playing ranked games, just challenge them unranked, which is a default way if you want to consecutively play games, just like in Fight Kid 1. The Fight Kid ranking system works like so. The points are hidden, but generally the more sets you win, the more points you get. How you get those points are scaled though. An A rank winning against a C rank would win less points. Meanwhile, a C rank winning against an A rank would win more points. You need to play at least 10 ranked games to get a rank. This does not mean 10 first to sets, it means 10 games. Playing sets that reach up to 10 games will get you ranked. To spectate a match, double click on their match or right click and spectate. To access your profile and view your replays, click on the profile URL in the lobby chat. Your profile page will open up in your browser along with showing your replays. To set yourself away so you don't get any challenges, click on your profile pic on the bottom left and set yourself to away. If you don't want to receive any challenges from that specific lobby, there is a mute button near the lobby icon. The other button is to leave that game's lobby room. If you want to change your profile pic, you'll have to make an account on Gravatar and add in a profile picture. Your Gravatar profile pic will sync with Fight K2. Here we have Fight K1. And then here we have Fight K Legacy, which can be found in Fight K2. These two are very different. One is going to be shut down eventually, and one is going to replace Fight K1. So in terms of heritage for the future, should I play on Fight K Legacy? No, not really. It is not really recommended to use Fight K Legacy due to a generally worse experience. This is because it uses a much older emulator and worse netcode. The new and improved Final Burn Neo emulator 
fixes many visual glitches and gameplay errors such as Fight K2 showing player 2 combo meter and Whole Horse's stand bullet not crashing if there's too many inputs. The Legacy Fightcade is still usable as it comes bundled with Fight K2. Setting up the Legacy version is the same as the old Fightcade 1 video guide. On Fightcade 2, joining the Legacy lobby for Heritage for the Future will download the ROM for you if you don't have it since the JSON files can download Fightcade 1 ROMs automatically. But if you do have JoJo Ban, Fightcade will scan your computer and find them. There is a difference between FBN, which is used to emulate Heritage for the Future on Fight K2, and FBA, which is used for the training mod. Although ever so slightly, the difference is that FBN locks the game at 60 FPS, and FBA locks it at 59.2 FPS. Combo timings in FBN may be a bit different, but barely noticeable. In the previous video, there was a guide for a training mod that used FBA-RR version 007. That version was claimed to not work, but with a tedious workaround, this version can work again. To avoid the hassle, you can instead download FBA-RR version 005. If you want to know how to get that training mod working, Watch Zareth's training mode tutorial or my Fight Kid 1 tutorial video on how to get FBA-RR working. If you have FBA-RR and it's working, there is a new training LUA file. Gary Butternubs has made a new training LUA file that is different from Peon's LUA file that was used in the previous video. It has some visual upgrades compared to Peon's along with telling if the combo is scaling and if the infinite protection system is on. Download the file from Mega. Move the file inside the FBA-RR folder. When you load up Heritage for the Future on FBA-RR, which would be JoJo Band, click on New LUA Script Window which is in the Game tab. Click on Browse, select the LUA file, and then click Run. If you have any questions or issues, be sure to visit and ask in the Heritage for the Future Discord server.